Today everyone, I am reviewing the Outdoor Research Foray 2 Rain Jacket. This is a jacket that has a rather infamous reputation for being one of the best rain jackets out on the market today. For the last six months, I've been testing out this jacket, and in this episode, I'm going to go over the pros and cons that I have for it. But first, we need to touch upon some stats. And I'll tell you what everyone, while doing so, I will show you all some footage of me wearing and using this jacket out in the wild. <laughs> So right off the bat, it's important to know that this is a Gore-Tex jacket, a two-layer. It is made from a 50 denier polyester. It also features AquaGuard YKK zippers. And because it's dual layer, that means this is going to be a very strong jacket. Not the strongest level of Gore-Tex out there, but without a doubt, very tough. This is the medium sized jacket and it weighs 12.3 ounces. It is available in numerous sizes, from small all the way to triple XL. Also, this jacket is available in numerous colors and here are just a few. Black, black and blue, coyote brown, navel blue, which is what I have here. There's also purple and black. There's a light gray, orange and gray. There's a yellow version and even some others. With the stats out of the way, let's take the jacket off and let's go over all the features that this offers. This is the Foray 2 jacket. As you can see here, you have a center zip, and again, that's a AquaGuard YKK zipper. You have one zipper, one zipper pool, and you have a storm flap behind that zipper. That is also a chin guard for when it's fully zipped up. On the chest, you have a chest pocket. That features a AquaGuard YKK zipper as well along with a zipper pool. With this chest pocket, it's of a good size. Just about any size phone can fit inside of this. What I use is a Samsung S23 regular, not the Plus, not the Ultra, and there's plenty of space here for it. And if you have a larger phone, it should work too. In addition to the chest pocket, you have two waist pockets. Both of these are zippered. With the waist pockets, they are huge. You could fit quite a bit in here if you need to. They are not lined. On the left side, you do have a hook for keys or whatever it is that you may want to attach. As far as ventilation goes with this jacket, we do have pit zips and they are easy to access. Additionally, folks, you have a zipper down at the bottom on both sides, which allow you to open up the jacket like this which essentially allows you to wear this like a poncho. This is good for ventilation in light rain conditions. Of course, you wouldn't want to do this when it's raining heavily out, but it is a nice feature to have. Around the waist, you do have hem adjustment, so you can pull this tight and basically stop air and even snow from coming underneath the jacket. With the hood, it is fully adjustable as you would expect. Adjustable in just about every single way. You have a tensioner here, one on the other side, and you have another on the back. As you can see with the front, you do have somewhat of a bill. It is extremely loose. Very flappy, is that the word? I'm not sure. Floppy? Flappy floppy, I don't know. But yeah, it's not really much of a bill, but it does kind of count. Those are the features of the Outdoor Research Foray 2 Rain Jacket. Now let's start with the pros and cons, beginning with the pros. Right off the bat, we have excellent materials here. These are strong. This is a Gore-Tex, which means that it's going to be more of a technical fabric than your typical less expensive rain jacket. Polyester made, nylon made. It's gonna be able to take some abrasion as you're going through the forest, pushing through trees, brush, going over rocks, and so on. With that being said, it's definitely not the strongest material out there as far as Gore-Tex goes. This is a two layer. There are even three layer jackets, but they could be quite a bit more expensive than this one here. What this pack light material offers is a good balance of weight and strength, and at the same time, waterproofness. Speaking of which, this jacket with my testing has been 100% waterproof, and I've been testing this out for about six months, and I've been doing so in all sorts of conditions. Most of them rather extreme with strong winds and heavy rainfall. At no point in time have I had an issue when it comes to the protection that this jacket offers. It's top notch. So it's waterproof and it's also windproof. The overall fit and finish, the construction of this is excellent. There's no issues when it comes to the threads, nothing like that. All of the seams are welded and the company has done a great job with them. We just spoke about the hood, it is excellent. 
fully adjustable. You can get this to fit over a toboggan, over your head, and even over some helmets. The chest pocket, it's excellent and it's fully waterproof. The same applies for the waist pockets. I've never had any issues with these and they are of a good size. As far as ventilation goes, we have the pit zips and the full length zipper. Both of these aspects do help with ventilation as much as possible. When it comes to the cuffs, we have Velcro. These are fully adjustable so you can get these very loose and also tighten them down if you need to. Next everyone, as far as the appearance of this jacket goes, I like it quite a bit. It's cut well, it's a flattering look. I like the colors, or I should say, I like the color of this jacket. But in general, I like the way that this jacket looks. It looks sharp, and the overall fit is excellent. I'm a medium to large, and I'm wearing a medium, and it fits very well. Next, we have to talk about the weight. The overall weight of this jacket is not bad at all. Considering this is a Gore-Tex jacket, it weighs less than one pound. Again, that's not bad. Additionally, this jacket is somewhat compactable, compressible, that's about the size of a Nalgene water bottle. So overall, this isn't bad. There's definitely better jackets out there when it comes to being compact, but overall, this is not bad. Next folks, let's talk about freedom of movement. As you can see here, this jacket is cut very well. You can move your arms, you can do what you need to do, and you don't see any tightening of the materials in any odd locations. There's plenty of room here in the arms. There's plenty of room at the back. This is the medium size jacket and it fits like a medium should. And there's enough space under this jacket for a puffy down layer or maybe a sweater, something like that. You wouldn't be able to fit a parka underneath this, but without a doubt, you can fit numerous thinner layers. As far as the last pro goes, it's all about noise. It does make some noise, but it's not obnoxious. When it comes to some materials, when it comes to like rain jackets, they can be pretty bad. In this case, it makes some noise, but it's not offensive. You're not going to scare animals out of the forest by just simply walking through, nothing like that. Now everyone, let's shift our focus over to the cons for this jacket. Con number one is cost. Without a doubt, this is a very expensive jacket, a very expensive rain jacket. When it comes to rain jackets that are made from Gore-Tex, I have to say that the price is more than fair. For a mid-level Gore-Tex jacket, Jacket, you're looking at 200 to 400 dollars. Higher end Gore-Tex jackets can cost north of 1,000 dollars and that does need to be kept in mind. So within the mid tier of Gore-Tex jackets this pricing makes sense. But with that being said though your typical rain jacket that's non-technical made from a nylon maybe a polyester it's going to run maybe 50 dollars to 150 bucks. It really does depend on the company and the materials used. The next con that I have for this jacket is breathability. With any sort of rain jacket the breathability is only going to be so good. And it doesn't matter if you spend a thousand dollars on a very expensive jacket or you spend 50 bucks. No matter what, you're going to have some issues when it comes to breathability, namely with condensation and moisture buildup. There's no way to avoid this when it comes to a shell product. I have to mention this because if you're wearing this jacket, you're out hiking, you're pushing yourself, you're sweating, you will have moisture building up on the inside of this jacket. It simply is an aspect to waterproof materials. There's no waterproof material out on the market today that will not collect moisture on the inside. Oftentimes people think that their rain jacket has been leaking when that simply is not the case. It's moisture buildup. Luckily, we do have pit zips that does help. But again, everyone, breathability is only going to be so good when it comes to a shell product. And it doesn't matter if you spend 50 bucks or a thousand. Naturally, as you spend more, breathability gets better, but it's not going to be perfect. The next con that I have for this jacket is the collar. As you all can see here, it is very, very aggressive. And when you're out in the rain, right, if you don't have this fully zipped up, by the way, the zipper is very stiff. If you don't have the collar zipped all the way up, just like this, and you have it open, Look at how wide this is. Look at how much it flares out. So you have the hood on, water's just pouring down, rainwater, and it's falling right onto this and it's going inside of this jacket. So it's one of those things where you're hiking around, it's raining, you pretty much have to have this zipped up just like this. And when you have the jacket zipped up this much, you're holding in quite a bit of heat. When it's open like this, quite a bit of heat can escape but when it's zipped up, it's staying right there. That means more condensation, more sweating. And because of this, I would say that this collar is obnoxious. I mean, it just sticks out so far. I'm not sure if that really comes through on camera, but like, it's noticeable. I kind of feel like Count Dracula or something like that, right? <laughs>
when I have the hood on, you can see it even more so, just how big and obnoxious this is. So again, you have rainwater coming down, it's falling off the hood, it's going right into this. So again, you have to have this zipped up. The last con that I have for this jacket is rather simple. It does not feature a pocket where you can pack the jacket into, basically to compress it. With this jacket, there's no storage bag. You can't pack it or anything like that. It is what it is. Those are the pros and cons that I have for this jacket. And I have to say, after testing this out, I see why this jacket is so popular. I see why it's considered one of the best rain jackets out on the market today. It is really, really good. 100% waterproof with my testing. Breathability is not bad. But the question is that comes to my mind is this. Is this better than the Marmot Minimalist jacket? And I have to say no. This is a two layer Gore-Tex. The Minimalist is a two and a half layer Gore-Tex. And oftentimes you can find it for very inexpensive. For an example, I purchased my last one for around $100. That's a fantastic deal. And all I had to do was just kind of wait around for a sell and I found it. Speaking of the Marmot jacket, the Minimalist, the retail price for it is around the same price as this. It's around $200, $220, something like that. And with that being said, everyone, I have to say, I like the Minimalist just a little bit more than this. No matter what, both are excellent jackets. Both feature very good Gore-Tex materials, good zippers, both are waterproof. But in the end, as a personal preference, I prefer the Marmot just a little bit more. Make sure to comment down below and share your thoughts. What do you all think about the Foray 2? Do you happen to have one? What are your experiences? Share those experiences with the community. Now, let me ask you all this. What inexpensive rain jacket would you like for me to test out? I'm thinking maybe something from Frog Togs. That's coming up. I need to mention this before I say goodbye. I purchased this jacket with my own money. This is not a product the company sent me. I do not do sponsored videos, nothing like that. Every single review is straight up, it's honest. I'll give you the facts, the pros and cons. That's it. I'm not here to sell products. I'm not here to get paid by these companies. I share real world information and that's it. This has been my review of the Outdoor Research 4Ray 2 jacket and I'll say goodbye for now. Everyone take care, be well, strength and honor. Hit the thumbs up before you go, helps a lot. Oh yeah. Bye everybody. Take care.